Hello, everybody. Long time no see. Hello, hello, hello. I have, I'm going to give it a few minutes and see if we have anybody show up. I'm just doing a live haul and I have a lot of stuff to show you. I'm sweating. I just got back from garage sailing, estate sailing, going to thrift stores, rummage sales. So I have some really cool items to show you. And I haven't even unpacked all the bags yet. I have a bunch of stuff in front of me here that um, I still need to take out of the bags. But I am just dying of heat. Oh, it, it's not even that warm out, but I've just been running around. So I'm just like, I'm overheated. Hi, Patty. I'm just doing a, a haul video here. And I have a lot of stuff because I went out yesterday and today. Um, grabbing some goodies and I, some of it is still in the bags. I haven't even unpacked it. I don't even remember what I got. This is stuff from this week and some stuff from last week as well. I even, oh, I know what this is. Okay. I know what that is. And I have some really cool stuff to show you and some Okay, stuff. <laughs> we'll move that out of the way. I'm just going to go. Oh, no sale. But if you see something you want, you let me know. Oh, I need my fan. If I wish I had. I don't know where I put it. Oh, it's right here. Woo. And I'm in the basement, so it's, it's cool down here. But I was out running around. And then I had to carry everything downstairs. And I'm just like. So I'm just going to go through everything that I bought um, last weekend and this weekend. And if you see something you like, you can just message me or um, shoot me an email. Because all of this is for sale. I have a bunch of Halloween stuff and I never did a Halloween sale. So I had to move all my Halloween stuff over here. And I've got some really cute Halloween stuff. And I just I started a new job, so I didn't get to it all. But... I guess I'll have to save it for next year because it's too late to um, do anything with it this year. But I'm going to go ahead and jump right in and start showing you stuff because I have a lot to go through. And the first thing I'm going to show you is the one of the biggest things. I have one more thing upstairs that I didn't bring down, and it's a aluminum Christmas tree, brand new in the box. They never used it. It was They bought it for the lobby of a, um, like a car dealership back in the fifties and they never used it. <laughs> and so this lady had it for sale. The box is a little smushed, but um, it's brand new and it's six feet. So I got that upstairs. I think my husband wants to maybe keep that one. Hi, Mary. Um, the one that we just got and then sell the one that he has that doesn't have the box. So I may have a Christmas tree for sale. And then I got um, a marble huge marble duffel bag on wheels. I know that marble stuff can sell really well. So I was at a garage sale and this is so bad. I picked up a couple books and I'm standing there waiting for my friend. And this guy was like, is that bag for sale? And the lady's like, yeah, it's 10 bucks. And it had a huge like tent thing in it. And so he's like, well, I just want the bag. And she's like, well, I'll give you the whole thing for seven bucks. The, um, thing inside and the bag and he's like hmm. and I was like I was paying attention and I'm, I'm thinking oh my god that's a marble bag so I told the lady I said well if he's not gonna buy that I'll buy that for seven dollars and she's like it's yours he walked away he didn't want it so I was like oh my god I feel so bad doing that she's like he walked away from it so I gave her seven dollars and then the guy came back and she's like I already sold and I was like oh my god I felt really bad but I looked up the bags and those go for hundreds of dollars and I paid $7. I pulled the tent thing out. It was a huge like enclosure with the poles and the cover. I gave that to my friend because I don't have room for anything like that. And then I kept the bags. So that was a really cool $7. But let's jump right in. I'm going to show you a big item that I got. Um, we were at an estate sale and this was one of the best estate sales I've ever been to. 
prices were phenomenal. I'll show you a little sneak peek what I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, pretty much paid for this whole box of goodies. I paid $12. $12 for this whole box. And wait till I show you what's in here. The other thing I bought at that same sale, they had outdoor, indoor. It was like a barn. And then they had a loft in the barn. And then they had like a garage area in this old, old house. I spotted this right when we pulled up, and I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it is this huge tin. Can you see it? It's got a tin top. The sides are like paper, like cardboard, and there's something in there. I haven't opened it, but I got this huge carousel tin. I don't even know what it's for. I don't know who makes it, but it was $14, and I love it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but it was amazing. So I got that huge tin. Yeah, he walked away from it. I still don't wanna like buy it out from under him. I was like, if he wants it, he can have it. She's like, nope, he didn't want it. I'm like, okay, I will take it. So I bought that. So I went to another sale. Oh, it's over there. I got this tin dollhouse. It's about this big and it's got Disney in it. But it's kind of, um, isn't it cool? I would, but the sides are cardboard. It's not metal on the side. So if I put flowers in there, it would just like soak through. I figured I could use it on a display and like stack stuff on top of it because it's so big. But also, I mean, it's got plenty. Of, you could do like a Christmas vignette, vignette on top of it. I thought that would be super cute. I also picked up this um, Wizard of Oz Waddle book. I paid, I think, $3 for this book, and it's colored in, but I've never seen this Wizard of Oz one. It does have, um, I don't know if it has any color illustrations in it, but it's got some cool illustrations, and I've never seen this Christmas decorations. Yes, store Christmas bulbs in it. This book is, says it's copyright 1934. So the Wizard of Oz Waddle book. I just like the cover of it. I thought it was kind of cool. So we got that. I'm gonna set that over there. I paid up for the aluminum Christmas tree that I got for my husband. They had it marked 250, which is not bad. And she gave it to me for 150. It's a six foot aluminum Christmas tree. Brand new, still in the box. So I thought that was a killer deal. The other thing that I paid up for at this um, state sale, a different one than the one where I got that, was this 1930s Tiffin satin glass hand-painted vase. It's 1930s. It's black satin, and it has the... Um... Hi, how are you doing? How you doing, Cindy? Um, this is 1930s Tiffin glass. Yeah, I got a brand new six foot aluminum Christmas tree for 150. I thought that was a good deal. My friend thought I was crazy. She's like, you're spending that much money. I'm like, these things can go for a lot of money. Um, so this is hand painted poppies. And I just thought it was beautiful. Um, it does have a lot of age to it. She said it was Tiffin glass. Um, haven't looked it up or anything. I just really love poppies. And when I saw the poppies painted on here and they are like 3d off of the, the vase, I don't know if it's pom pom tree. I haven't even looked at it. However, we have a pom pom tree, a uh, six foot one that we'll probably be selling if he wants to keep that one, he's going to pick one of them and we're going to sell the other one. The other one I, I bought from, um, Misty. That was like the first time that I bought anything from anyone it was a couple years ago when she first started selling and she had that and I bought it from her and I was like, oh my God, I bought, I spent all this money on a Christmas tree. I didn't realize how much, how, like how valuable they were. So, but he talks about, um, the Christmas trees all the time because he grew up having one. So he loves those aluminum trees. So when I saw that one, again, they had it marked 250. And um, she gave it to me for $150.
Also got this adorable baby quilt with the satin trim and it's got the vintage nursery characters on it. You're going to laugh, but I bought this for my dog because she loves like cuddle blankets and it was like a quarter. So I bought that. Cindy, did you see the tin? I don't know if you missed the first thing I, sh I showed, but this tin I got at an estate sale today. <laughs> Look how big it is. It's ginormous. The sides are cardboard, but the top and the bottom are metal. And it's got these carousel horses on it, and it's quite old. And there's something in there. I don't know what it is, but it's as big as a drum. And it's got like a circus theme on the side, like a carousel. So I thought that was really cool. So I got this. There's this estate sale company here. They are so good, and they're so cheap. I got this whole box of goodies for $12, and I'm going to show you what I got. Um, they had a ton of vintage toys, kitchen stuff, just amazing stuff. Um, super good prices. And they had like around the, the dining room, these rails along the top that had all different mason jars, which I didn't even really get into, but they had some other items that nobody even saw. And so when I saw it, it's ginormous, isn't it? You got two aluminum trees out of the trash. Oh my gosh doesn't matter if they're perfect. They're almost better when they're not perfect. And plus you got them out of the trash. Looks, I mean, that's amazing. So I got this whole bag of playing cards. It looks like there is Elsie the cow. A lot of these are brand new still in the package. These down here look like they're rubber band. Um, but I think I paid $3 for this whole thing of playing cards. And there's some cute ones in there. I figured package choppers or an ephemera sale, I could do these. So that's definitely fun. I better not drop that. Um, I got these, you know, these plastic, a Charlie Brown tree. Heck yeah, trash picking aluminum trees. I paid a quarter a piece for these. There's the turkey, but this, these are the reason I bought them is this Halloween. And I think I have three of them, three of the Halloween ones with the witch. And I paid 25 cents for these. I, I really want to go trash picking. My husband will, would never with me, but I'd totally, totally do it. I got this vintage little book, um, etiquette of the stars and stripes. I like when I do my ephemera sales, I like to add little stuff like this. Um, I'm not sure the, the year, but that there was a lot, a whole sewing room. And so I got a bunch of these and these are brand new. I think these are like sewing needle books. I got these two and I remember I paid $12 for everything I'm going to show you. I got this other one here that I think might be used. And then this one has the rocket ship on it and some more of those. So those are fun. I guess you could add those into like an ephemera type sale as well, because you're not really using it for the pins. You, you buy it for the graphics, right? I got this adorable teddy bear jar. It does say craft 1988. I thought it would be cute to put marbles, buttons, um, just like a junk jar type thing. I love the red lid, so I got that. These were up above. I believe these are the receipt, like spikes. These are really cute to use at Christmas time. The rocket ship, I like that one too. So these are good to put the little trees on at Christmas, or you can put bulbs on it. You can put your tree toppers. I know they use them for a bunch of different things. Grab two of those. This Everything I'm going to show you, again, I paid $12 for everything. I got the, uh, of course, the tin. Oh, you like all this stuff too? I don't even know how old some of this stuff is, but I had to grab the Hershey tin. The Cocoa Tin. I know that one's not too old. I got the celluloid 
doll here. She's missing her little feather, like it's come off, but you could glue some new feathers on there. She has her little pom-pom here. Well, you can't beat that, those receipt spikes because they basically, what, I paid like under a dollar for each of them. I thought that was great. This guy here, or girl, I should say, I don't know what that sticker was for, but this was in here too. And it's got like a plastic face. It's a monkey. It's a little tail. Made of yarn, but it's got the, it's almost like celluloid face. Oh, I have a ton of postcards. I'm going to be doing a ephemera sale soon. So watch for it if you like that. Definitely. These are Gerber bells. I don't know. Is this, I think it's for a crib. They got little jingle bells in there. I love that they have the Gerber baby on them. And they still have their snaps where you would snap it in to the crib, I guess. Um, I'm not even sure what's in here. This was all just in a box. I guess these are like the old fashioned pins with the duckies. And then these are, are they bunnies and little bunnies? The safety pins are all hooked together. I don't know what these little blue things are. Maybe like an old teether or something. This is like a rattle. This is all in this box together. This is, is it not Norcross? Is it Norcross? Well, the little, she's teeny tiny. I've never seen one this little before. I thought she was cute. Her, and we got the two little, these are the same company, the two little mice, Christmas mice. This guy was super cute. It's all kinds of like littles in here. Plastic stuff. This was an estate sale. Yes. They're having a couple more next week and they're the best company. So I got everything in this box for 12 bucks. This tin is amazing. I just saw the donkey on it and um, grabbed it. Ming, Stephen Lamont Products, New City, New, New York, maybe? Jasmine Tea. I guess it's a tea container from the Ming Tea Company. I'm in Toledo, yes. And I'm going to tell you what, they have some really good sales in Toledo. I'm not even kidding you. I um, have been getting crazy deals on stuff. Like, really? I, the people here, some people just aren't, um, I think these still have that aspirin in them. They're, I don't think they're really into the, and this box is amazing, too. All the stuff that it was in, I just like the box. This shave thing, I don't know if it glows. I'm hoping it does. It kind of has that, that hue to it with the shaver. This was up above. Basically, they threw it in. Oh, my God, look at the dust come out of it. It was up on that shelf. So a shave uh, mug with the shaver. Again, if you see something you want, shoot me an email. Yeah, well, you know what? You should definitely, yes, we should do a collab for sure. We could meet in the middle. You could come up here. I could come there. Um, definitely. That sounds like fun. You got good picking by you too. The salt, um... This is a paper container and it says 1914 on it. Is this really from 1914, the salt? I have no idea. I couldn't tell you. It's not because it has a scan bar. Uh, I thought it was old, but it's not. 
It is older though. It is marked 35 cents on the top and it's paper. So I thought this was cool. This is a paper salt container. This guy, I'm not even sure. It's an old razor. I don't know if anybody collects these. This one definitely hasn't been taken out of here in a long time. Look at that. So if you collect old razors and stuff like that, this is a rotary razor blade sharpener in the box. Basically, I just dropped everything in here and, and then this was sitting with it, an old shaver. I used that on my legs. So that whole box was $12 for everything that I just showed you. And there was some really cute stuff in there. I especially like these little spiky spikes and the monkey is super cute. But all of this is available. If you saw something you liked, feel free to message me and I will definitely, um, I'm pretty easy to get along with on price. I like to find this stuff and then just find it in your home. Oops, I keep kicking my, there we go. All right, then at a sale we went to yesterday, we were driving down the street. Oh yes, the Mommy Antique Mall, that's not too far from me. They are good too. Their prices have gone up though. Definitely gone up. I picked up, this is, 1965 the bubble top snoopy goodies i think i paid 25 cents for this at a garage sale they had really good prices the garage sale prices around here are amazing so this cutesy thing i also got these two little tupperware bowls I don't know what you would use these for. Oh, yes, for sure. These little Tupperware. I thought they were like key ring things, but there's no key ring. They're just little, maybe for pills in your purse or something. I love the color red, so the little Tupperware I thought was really cute. This amazing Santa was a display at a store, she said, or at a bank. And her mom went to the bank years ago. And said, after Christmas, can I buy that Santa that you have up on your bank counter? And so they sold her this. So she's had it all these years. His face is like celluloid. It's like a plastic. And he's in beautiful condition. So he was a, a display at a bank. Like they would have him up on the counter. And I paid $5 for him. Love him. Stand him up. I found this season's greeting Santa you collect Santa's so this would go on a window and I bought a whole bunch from this lady she was like along the road she had a garage open and they bought like um, storage containers and so all the stuff that I'm going to show you right now I got from her and I paid ten dollars for everything that I'm going to show you so this guy here, I'm going to set him over here. I got this. I know some Mr. Christmas stuff can sell for a lot. This is the Bells of Christmas. Uh, Mr. Christmas, I think you hang them. They're 10 lighted musical bells. They play 15 Christmas carols in four part harmony. I don't know if it works. She said it did. I got this. So now remember, I only paid $10 for everything. So. I won't be too upset if, if it doesn't work, but these two dogs here, vintage, um, big cuddly dogs. And there's two of them that are just alike. I don't know if the tag, if it has Columbia toy products. I felt so bad for them. They were sitting up on the shelf. And so she told me 50 cents each. So I got them both. This is the other one, and this one jingles. 
it must have jingle in its ears. It's got jingle bells and they're pretty much the same. So if you're looking for a little cuddly vintage dog, I have two of them that are up for adoption. Boink, I got a whole bag of stuff from this lady for $10. And I buy the weirdest stuff. So if you like weird stuff, I have to, oh, okay. Yes, definitely. Thank you, Cindy. Remember these old children's hangers? Like the carousel? I got three bundles of them. What do you do with them? I don't know, but they were cute. They're like plasticky 19. And they have little clowns. Look at, they have little clowns up in the corner. I have like 15 of them, more than that. You like weird? I like weird too. I see stuff and it's like, what am I going to do with it? I don't know. But <laughs> for all this for $10, I bought it. I don't know why. I'm a sucker for these old um, ledger books too. So you know what? They don't buy storage units. They they went in and bought an estate sale. That's what it was. She bought in this, the contents from an estate sale of stuff that didn't sell. This was marked four dollars, but I did not pay that. The old ledger book, and this one is some of it's filled out, and it was like it had a date in here. What was it? Because I was looking at it. Nineteen oh seven. So this ledger book, it's not. There's still a lot of empty pages in there that you could use for junk journaling. 1907 I thought it was so cute I bought a weird coloring book remember the little like baby woody woodpecker it's not colored in at all cuddles have no idea I bought a record I have a bunch of children's records that I'm going to be selling and I bought this antique geography book. I didn't even look to see the year. It's kind of fallen apart, to be honest. But I think it's like 1876 uh, geography book. Hi, Heather. How are you? I'm just, I don't even remember what I got from the sale. I got this. It's like chalkware bird with cherries it's in pretty good condition what's the back of it that's the back who remembers this toy and i know i love vintage toys i'm a sucker for them but do you remember this guy where you pull him in his little little tail legs he's got the ball do i need him no I couldn't just leave him there though. Oh my God. We went a state. We, we didn't from 8 30 in the morning till 6 PM yesterday. And then left at nine this morning and just got back. And you know, I didn't buy a whole lot, but I was kind of excited about what I did get. I got some fun stuff. This I believe is a light. Why I bought a duck with a light in it, I don't know. It's got a little light right here. It's like a, a rubber ducky. So it's plastic. I have no idea. But I bought a duck with a light. And if there's anything you see that you like, be sure to message me. I bought this Christmas ornament too. Just a random Christmas ornament. It was cute. All right. What else did I get? I picked up this antique book, Shelly. I think I got this at a different sale. Love the cover on it. I think we're going into a different sale now. What makes you so strong? Oh, I got this at a thrift shop. How cool is this, guys? Xavier Roberts. 
this is before they were Cabbage Patch Kids. He called them Little People Pals. And I think this is before Cabbage Patch. This is a, bag, a magazine where he um, tells you how to make them. Because I think this is the maker of Cabbage Patch Kids. And he called them like little people, which I had no idea. And some of them are really creepy. Look at that. their faces. So I think this is before Cabbage Patch Kids and they have the Babyland General in here. So <laughs> I grabbed this. I don't know. I thought it was super weird that they weren't called Cabbage Patch Kids. They were called Little People Pals. I don't even know the year on this, but it's super weird. You like this book here? I love the cover of it. I got this at the thrift, same thrift store. They also have these trays. This one is plastic and this one is metal. So I grab those two. Cute backdrops in a vignette, 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 whatever you want to call it. Cheese Ritz. Don't know why I bought it. I don't even know how old it is. It looks like it's got some age to it. It's full of um, clothespins. But if you like Ritz crackers, have you ever heard of cheese Ritz? I hadn't. And the colors on it really pop, so I thought it was fun. So we got a cheese Ritz tin. My husband's going to kill me. He hasn't seen all this stuff yet. Um, he's upstairs. This was a garage sale. I bought all of these vintage cards from her, like the Animal Rubby, Skeeter, I don't know what that is, Animal Rummy, Dandy Candy, these vintage card games. I don't know why. They're just, I'm a sucker for these little, these little animals. Look at that. So I bought that whole stack from her. All of them. The Home Comfort Cookbook for Wrought Iron Range. Wrought Iron Range Company. What year is this? Established in 1864. I think this is 1920. It is a cookbook from 1920 for your um, home range, but it has a lot of the old advertisements in there. I thought it was very interesting. I think I paid $2 for it at that garage sale. One of my favorite things I got, you're going to think I'm super weird. And why did you buy that? But I did. I bought a bat, uh, step stool, a blue step stool. But look at, look at that bunny rabbit pulling a little baby chick in a little buggy. Yeah, it's falling off there peeling off whatever but how adorable is the stool I mean it's so cute what am I going to use it for I have no idea but again I couldn't leave it behind it was like three dollars um you could use this in a vignette to set you could set it like this and stack things up on it you could set it like this you could use it as steps to learn a little chair um I don't know. I can't tell you. I can't explain why I'm why I am the way I am, but it was cute. So I got it. Now let's go in over here. Got more stuff. I think these are mason jars. Does anybody here like so cute, right? Does anybody here like mason jars? Like the old ones? Or no? I know nothing about them. I did buy some interesting lids for some. And I can show you what I got here if you want to see them. If you don't, I can just move on to the other stuff because I have some more cute stuff over here. Adorable. Anybody like old mason jars? Let's throw this bag away here. I'm just going to go ahead and show you. I've never seen lids like this. 
but look at the lid. Have you ever seen one like that? Where it's open, the Presto jar. Has anyone seen that before? I, he had a few of them, so I bought some other ones to put on um, other lids. So I got this little one here. I got the Atlas Easy Seal with a lid. You Okay, you've seen them before. I have never seen that lid before. Now, I do have some that have the milk glass in there, but these come out. I just thought it was strange. I don't know. And then this Atlas Easy Seal one. I've been picking up these jars when I see them cheap, and I think these were only a buck. So I grab them uh, for junk jars, whatever. They're kind of a fun thing to do, right? And then this one is local. I'm going to show this one to my husband. It looks like it has some barbed wire, but it says Chef Burdan and Company, Toledo, Ohio, trademark. Um, it's like Chef Boyardee almost or something. Tight. Tight, it says on the top. So this, I think, is a local jar. I grabbed it. Um, I thought that he would like it since it says Toledo, Ohio, which is where I live. I live in Sylvania, but same deal. Does anybody remember the old um, transfers? The Aunt Martha's transfers? I bought a whole stack of them. I didn't even look at them. I just bought the whole stack. There is butterflies. His and hers, dogwoods and daisies. These are like different hearts and stuff here. Carnation rose tulip. Oh, here's peacock. I thought these would be fun for ephemera. These are squirrels, and they're like all day of all days of the week. I'm too close. Oh, you've seen the, oh, Toledo Antique. I know, you know what? I have not, I have not met David yet. These are little dogs for every day of the week. I need to get over there. These are little animals. Definitely. You like the butterfly one? Okay. I think these are for cross stitch, right? Woodland critters. Oh, these are like the old baby animal, like um, nursery style. Decals. It's like fruit and vegetables. Butterflies and dragonflies on flowers. So this is a different one. Oh, hearts and roses. And this one is Pennsylvania Dutch. And then there's one, this was just with it. I don't know what it is. I think she just kind of threw it in. I've never been, I don't know if this is the same thing. I've never opened this up before. I don't want to ruin it. All kinds of little stuff on there. Animals and flowers. And I guess that's what is inside there. But I don't know if this is something different. It says free gift on it. So maybe it came with. I don't know. So we got those. You ready to see the cutest popcorn? You know the popcorn vintage popcorn art that you can put up on the wall. I've never seen one this cute before. Are you ready? <laughs> Nancy, just make a list and we'll, we'll get it all put together for you. Okay. You ready to see the cutest popcorn art you're ever going to see in your whole life? Look at that. I'm not a big popcorn art person. I think they're always kind of weird looking. However, this Santa is so cute, right? He's doing his little winky eye. 
how adorable is that? Three E's and sweet. Yes. Thank you so much. I should have put my um, email up there. It's sweet Adeline, sweet with three E's, A-D-O-L-I-N-E at AOL.com. That's my email. If you see something you like, you can certainly email me. I'll be having a, a pop-up sale soon. It's just with my new job. My schedule is a little weird right now, and so I can't really plan it. Um, so yeah, until I get settled in my job, then I, I won't be able to really have like a set scale. They are set schedule, not scale. All righty. I paid a dollar for actually I paid less because it was half off. I paid 50 cents for what's in this box. And how much are they? They iron on. Yes, they do. I don't know. Nancy, I'm pretty easy to get along with whatever you want to pay for them. Sure, we'll put together a little stack for you. And we'll just do it for one price. These are like neat thermometers. You probably can't see it. I got to pull one out. Look at these. They're metal. And this little hat comes down like this. Boop. They say medium rare. It kind of looks like the Chef Boy RD guy. There's a whole set of them in here. So it says the top flips open when your perfectly cooked steak is ready. So the little hat pops or something. Something happens with it. But you can see you, you put these metal things in your meat. I thought they were so cute. A whole little box of them for 50 cents. They come with the little directions. Adorable. Do I cook steaks at home? No. But somebody can use these, right? Right? I grabbed this cool tin deer hunt game. Um, yeah, you have to cook, right? Exactly. I'd rather just drive through somewhere. <laughs> this is an old shooting game. You got to hit the, the button here for the deer. Also with that came this box, which I thought was part of the game and I don't think it is. This sits up on these little things here. And that kind of moves. I'm not sure how that works. I think you somehow hit it and then it, it moves. It's a thick cardboard. And this was with it as well. So I would sell that all together as one price, even though they don't go together. Um, I'm selling them together. What do you think's in this box? Now, I got super excited because I thought, yes, I can't um, type it in because I'm, um, I'm live right now, so it won't let me, but it's sweet with three E's, S-W-E-E-E-T, and my last name, A-D-O-L-I-N-E, sweet Adeline at AOL.com. I should have put it in the um, description, but I didn't. These are candles, candle lighter. So I think that you put lighter fluid in here. Yep, lighter fluid. And it just lights like a candle. The tip is... I immediately thought of the like loose sight candlesticks when I saw them, but they're not loose sight. I do have some loose sight ones back there that are available. Doop. So these are like lighter fluid ones. I don't know. I've never seen these before. Kind of fun. I know the box could be knives, right? But it's candles. All right. So let's grab this next little box here of goodies. 
oh, somebody's going to have to tell me what these are. I paid a dollar for the whole bundle and they're like Tupperware, Tupperware spoons. I'm not sure. Are they for like iced tea? I have no idea. There are these long plastic pastel spoons. They remind me of Tupperware. I don't know if they are. Does anybody know what these are? Is it for iced tea or something? Anyway, we have a ton of those. Have these little blow mold style bunnies on a stick. Let me see. I don't see it in there. I got some cute little tins. Woo, don't fall, Santa. Don't fall. For Slurpees? These? You could use them for Slurpees. For sure. Well, if anyone needs a Slurpee spoon, give me a call. I got this Santa pick. This blow mode bunny. The weirdest thing I bought. I was with Michelle, Comfy Cozy. And she talked me into buying these. And I'm like, why did I buy these? And I paid a lot for them, too. There are these little mice. How weird is that? They're little tiny mice, and some of them, one of them's carrying a green bean. Another one has something else. Someone has a strawberry. They're like little felted tiny mice carrying fruits and vegetables. I don't know why I bought them, but I did. Very cute. I got these two little squeaky bunnies, yellow and pink. They are made by, heck if I know, I can't read it. Aren't these cute though? Yep. Yeah, little squishy tails. These, I think we're in a Happy Meal or something. They, they move. They're these little dog things. Oh, I might have. I'll have to check. I don't think I did. Maybe I don't think I did on Instagram, but I'll have to double check. I know I changed it on um, Facebook. I think I did. This is Squirt. That's his name. It's on there. Squirt, squirt the squirrel, or skunk, it's not a squirrel, little skunk, he's so cute, and he's in perfect condition, and his little face is adorable, got that little guy, I don't ever buy unicorn stuff, but I kept getting drawn back to this unicorn, it is signed, a signed pottery piece, and it has the stand in the back, but I just love the flowers and everything on this piece, a unicorn but look at the detail in the flowers it almost has an art nouveau feel to me and i love art nouveau i will definitely check that i'll make sure that my picture is the same and then i got this adorable cute little clementine wooden box i thought it was adorable to put stuff in i got a huge tin Dow house over there and it's not in the best condition it is pretty rusty but it's like a marks style Dow house it's kind of big oh it gets deleted hmm I type it and it gets deleted that's weird my email address, sweetadeline at ol.com. Oh, this looks like it's signed. I didn't even notice that. 1952 Miller Studio. 
looks like there is a little chip here that I didn't notice, but that's 1952. That's in pretty good condition as far as like chalkware goes. Are you trying to type in my email? My hands are dusty. If you type it, I can give you my email. If there's anything you saw that I showed you, with the exception of this right here, because I think I'm going to keep this beautiful poppy vase, uh, the tiffin glass, 1930s tiffin glass vase. Um, I think I will probably keep this just because I love poppies. But anything else you saw is up for grabs. And you can email. And if you want to grab a pen, I will give you my email if you want to write it down. It's sweet with three E's, S-W-E-E-E-T. Okay, you got it? All right. Definitely shoot me an email. I know that, um, Nancy, you were interested in some of these decals. Let me know which ones. I will pull them all out, put together a pile for you. If you guys want to watch the video back, um, there, there's quite a bit of stuff. I also have an aluminum Christmas tree. I got a brand new aluminum Christmas tree at one of the sales still in the box. I don't think it's ever been put together. So the current Christmas tree we have, the aluminum Christmas tree, we'll probably put up for sale. It is a six foot pom-pom aluminum tree. Um, my husband has to pick which one he wants because we don't, I don't have a poppy collection, but I love poppies. And we were at this estate sale and I kept coming back to it. And my friend thought it was ugly, but I really liked it. And Tiffin Glass is a local glass, like an old glass company that's in Ohio. And it has these raised poppies painted onto the black satin. Oh, I just love it. It's so Art Nouveau. And they had, oh my God, they had a lot of Victorian antiques at this estate sale. The lady was moving. She had um, Victorian aquarium sand with uranium accents on it. It was like, it almost looked like one of those old ashtrays, but it was for a fishbowl. And it had the um, uranium base and then the uranium ball with, you know, the brass or copper that came up. And I was like, oh my God. But I knew my husband wanted a, um, he's been always, always talking about getting a bigger, aluminum tree and I looked down and there's a box and it says that it came out of a car dealership. They bought it for their lobby back in the fifties or whenever, and they never used it. So it was still brand new in the box. The box was a little smushed in, um, but it's all in the paper still. Yeah, he's in here right now. So he has um, to make, he has to decide which tree he wants. If he wants the pom-pom tree that he had already, which is six foot, or if he wants the new one, and we don't even know what it looks like because it's still in the box. So he has to look at that, but I wanted to get him that Victorian. <sighs> That's my hubby right there, Mr. Sugar Bridges. He's the one that um, collects uranium glass. So he's upset that I didn't get him the aquarium stand, but I mean, I bought this and I bought that aluminum tree. So I had already spent quite a bit of money because I paid up for this vase, but I wanted it really bad. It's so pretty. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but it's kind of creepy cool, right? And that's what I like is the creepy cool. It's black satin. And it's got watermarks inside because they obviously used it, but it's old. It's got like calcified water marks inside. And I can't see a mark on it. There is something down here on the bottom, but I don't know. I thought it was all painted on, but it's black satin. And then the poppies are painted on top of the black. It's beautiful, right? Very Art Nouveau looking. She said it's 1930s, but I knew I paid up for it. I would never spend what I, I paid 45 for this and I thought it was a lot because I'm a garage sale person. And so I like to spend a dollar on an item or a quarter on an item. So she said 45 and I was like, do you have any wiggle room on that? Cause I knew I was already getting him the tree. And she said, Nope, it's so old and it's worth a lot more than that. And I'm thinking, 
if I don't buy this, I'm never going to see another one like this. Like, how often do you see these? I don't know. I haven't looked it up or anything, but I don't plan on selling it because I like it too much. But I don't usually spend this much money on stuff. So thank goodness they took credit cards at that sale. But I can show you the... <laughs> I can show you the tin dollhouse I got because it's pretty roached out, but I'm going to show it to you. It's right over here. Don't laugh, okay? Let me grab it. From the front, it looks pretty good. Like, it's a little bent. A little bent. Okay. <laughs> this is the dollhouse I just got. It's metal. Let me show you. I, I didn't realize how much rust it had, and it's kind of wonky. But can you see the Mickey Mouse room? It has a Disney room in there. See it? Donald Duck. And look at all the rust in that one room. Hi. So I bought this janky dollhouse, metal dollhouse. I was thinking it would be kind of cool if he can, my husband can kind of bend it back because it's really been out of shape. Um, to, I thought it'd be cool to like display stuff in. Yeah. So if anybody's interested in this as well, we could put this in a box and ship it. Um, I will tell you I paid $10 for this house. So if you offer me more than $10, it's yours. So let me set this over here. Out of the way. Um, definitely, <laughs> excuse me, definitely watch back um, this video. It has a bunch, I, I showed pretty much everything. I do have one more bag to open, but it's not, you guys probably wouldn't find this too exciting what's in this bag. I think these are just mugs from 1988 when I, um, was it 88? I was in high school and I took a vocational class, 1988. I worked at the Toledo Zoo for part of my school day because I was wanted to be a veterinarian. So we had a vocational class where you took part of your school day and you could work uh, at the zoo. So I worked at the Toledo Zoo during high school for part of my uh, day. And it was during the time when they had the panda bears at the Toledo Zoo, which was a big deal for Toledo. And when I was at this thrift store, they had the mugs from back when I worked at the zoo. There's, I think her name, Lily, Lele, I don't even remember. But we all had t-shirts that had these little panda bears on them. I got two of those. And then there's Nan Nan. I just remembered, I saw these for a dollar a piece, so I paid $5 for the set. I just remember having the t-shirts, having to wear these t-shirts when I worked at the zoo with the panda bears because it was such a big deal. So I found five of these glasses, which is not very exciting for you all. But for me, I was super excited. And I'm going to keep these and we're going to drink out of them. <laughs> it's like um, nostalgic because, you know, working at the zoo when you're 16, 17 years old with the large cats. And I worked um, in the carnivore house with the bigger cats. And I worked um, in the bird, the aviary. Yeah, thank you. So that was kind of fun um, being that young and working at the zoo and doing the events and stuff. And my whole dream of being a veterinarian ended very quick when we had to um, work at the dog pound and you saw what happened with those poor dogs. I was like, nope. I remember smuggling dogs, <laughs> puppies, because it was so sad what they did with some of the puppies and stuff. So I would smuggle them home in my book bag onto the school bus. And I knew I did not want to be a veterinarian after that. So, but it was interesting to say the least. But I have a lot of fun things here. And also, I think I'm going to start doing sales on Saturday. That seems to be a good day for my new schedule. I have a whole wall of goodies back here that I think I want to do a sale where I'm just pulling right from my inventory 
some fun items and then um great prices too i don't price things high i have a ton of ephemera a ton of postcards um vintage advertising books i have a lot of books a lot of children's books if you're into that kind of stuff let me know i can set up a sale for that um yeah a lot of vintage toys knickknacks oh, tins a lot of stuff so definitely if you saw something that you're interested in shoot me an email i am very easy to work with price wise i'm not I like the fun part for me is finding the items. I like going out and finding the items and then I like finding them in new home. Some things I do keep, but not a lot just because we're at capacity. I have two huge totes of vintage Christmas to do. So we'll have a vintage Christmas sale um, with lots of fun items there. So just let me know. You can send me an email on what you like to collect. And I um, will definitely keep my eye open for you when I'm out and about because there's some really good sales around here. Shop your shelves are fun, but if you pull it ahead of time, it saves you a lot of time. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. And I want to do some um, fun, like, raffle-y stuff. I thought it'd be kind of fun to do where if you want to get into the raffle or buy a sticker, we enter your name for an item. Say it was this item. You buy a sticker for a dollar however many stickers you want for a dollar. And then we will pull a name and see who wins that item. Just fun stuff like that. Um, yeah. So I've been out running around today. I'm super gross and just like, but I thought I'd hop on here and show you some of the fun things I got. And now I'm going to make my husband um, check a few things like this weird nightlight to see if it works. And he's going to have to, put together the Christmas tree. So if anybody here is interested in a aluminum Christmas tree, we will have one available. Either the new one in the box or the pom-pom one. One of those um, will be available for sale if you want. And they're six feet. The other one that I got is from Misty. It was the first thing I bought from her. And then I just found one today. The poppy vase is not for sale. No, I'm going to keep, this is the one thing I'm keeping. I love it. I think I'm going to put it in my creepy dining room. It matches it perfectly with the red. Isn't it gorgeous? Some people think it's gaudy. I just, I love the poppies. So I think I'm going to keep that. And I'm trying to think if I went over everything. I have a ton of Halloween stuff. I was supposed to have a Halloween sale and I never got to it. But I have some really cool Halloween items. I just organized down here and cleaned. And let me tell you, it's already a hot, hot mess. But I've been trying to stay organized and put everything away on the shelves. But I have some really cool Halloween stuff. Look at this mask. Isn't he cool? He does have some chip. He's made of like a composition or something. He is cool. Very pretty. He's pretty. He's creepy. And I have a, what's his name? Featherstone blow mold of a bat. I, I'm not sure how rare this guy is, but, you know, I found him a few years ago at Goodwill, I believe. So I have a Don Featherstone blow mold bat. And if that, you want any of this um, Halloween stuff after the fact, because I didn't get to the sale, uh, it's definitely available too. I'll just show you some of it since I have some of you still here. Are you a good witch or a bad witch? This hangs. I thought that was cute. I have a bunch of the vintage these are the old 
die cuts. Oops, <laughs> I shut the wrong side. This one has a little pumpkin that opens up. So we have those old die cuts. Misty, if you're watching, close your eyes. Clown characters. This is like a drawing. It teaches you how to draw different characters. However, that clown cover. But you know what? That's not even the creepiest thing. The creepiest one I have. Let me see if I can grab it. It's right here. It's super creepy. My table is so full of stuff. Isn't it creepy looking? Uh, the creepiest part is the cover on this one. I have... Ah! Told by the Sandman. I have some cute little Halloween books. This one's really cool. Ready? The Human Body. Ready? Misty might like that one, huh? For sure. This like opens 3D with all the organs and stuff. I thought that's kind of cool to display for Halloween. I have newer die cuts that I ordered from Bystel. They're still in the package. Um, two different sets of them. No, they're the same. You get four. So these, I have some new ones as well. I was actually going to raffle these off at my Halloween sale, and I never got around to it. I have all kinds of little trick-or-treat bags. Look at these. The candy corn on the back. These are all different little ones here. These. I got so much fun Halloween stuff still in the bag. Vintage ones. Little fun pencils. Who remembers Hills Department Store? Remember Hills Department Store? It was like a local store here. These goodie bags are still in the package. The pumpkins and the little skeletons. Let me show you this cool item. I do have black cats. Oh, let's make wrap with them. I should have really had a Halloween sale because I've got some cool stuff here. This is this, ignore all the pumpkins. I put the pumpkins in there, but look at this flower frog container. The flower frog comes off the top. I just stuck all the pumpkin heads in there. But how amazing is that? It's like creepy Victorian style flower frog holder, whatever you want to call it. And then this is super creepy too. I believe this is for a desk. Um, it would have had like an inkwell and a pen. It's metal. With a flower detail up here. How cool is that? Very Art Nouveau. This is one of my favorite things and I still haven't decided if I'm going to sell it. But it is a black cat it's metal it is a bookend i only have one of them but he looks like he's praising <laughs> how i had him displayed this is so weird i had a jesus statue and then i had him like praising him see how he's just kind of like praise <laughs> i'm weird i know it's got the felt bottom he's pretty heavy it's a black cat bookend. He's metal again. 
and I could only find one of them at Goodwill. I guess they're pretty like expensive, but I think he's just funny to um, have him leaning up against something random, like a statue of Jesus, of course. All right, I'll show you a couple other things that I got for Halloween, just in case you are interested. I have this little pumpkin with the cat on top. He's super cute. And this is a super rare popcorn witch. There are some witches that you see online, and this one is the rare one. I also have that uh, buy still big skeleton hanging up here. I had to put. I have to put all this stuff away that's sitting on this table. It's going to be a nightmare. And I have some other vintage paper stuff and ca pumpkin carving stuff. I've got a bunch of buckets and this fun guy. Pumpkin guy. I think he's from the 80s. 1988. So anyway, that is some of the stuff that is available. If you see something you like, feel free to email me again. Um, I'm going to, not today, but I'm going to put all this stuff away and I will fill up the table with some new stuff and maybe next Saturday do a live sale. So um, if you're interested in anything I have, be sure to message me and I'll pull it for that for the live sale um, next Saturday I'll shoot for. But just let me know. I love the bookend. I know. Isn't he cute? Pumpkin guy looks like Frosty. He does a little bit, but he's orange. Isn't it weird? Oops, I keep I keep kicking that. My, my little stand here. So lots of fun items. I don't know if you like the same stuff I like. I like weird, quirky, fun items. A lot of times I buy like children's stuff. I don't know why. I just, I think I like all the bright colors and I don't know. Like I bought all these cards. I didn't even look at them. I just bought them. I've never even heard of this one before. Trail Drive, an original card game. I just thought some of these would be kind of fun to put um, in ephemera packs, you know. Fun little cards. I don't know if any of you have, have played any of these games before or what year they're from for boys and girls. I don't even see a year on this one. I think I, pay, I got the whole stack of those card games for seven bucks. Frosty's best friend is a pumpkin guy. What? No way. Is it really? I've never heard that before. He's friends. Maybe it is. It kind of does look like Frosty. Not going to lie. Let me grab him again. Come here, dude. I shoved him in this pumpkin bucket. He's got the witch hat on. I don't even know what these buckets are from. 1980s buckets. He's like in brand new condition. No smell. Krishna Playful Plush. 1988. The cards are amazing. And I went to Springfield, the Springfield Extravaganza, and I came back with so much stuff. But I came back with a lot of like, um, you know, those felted animals. I probably have 50 felted animals over there, like the different like camels, zebras. It, it was like a Noah's Ark. So I have all those toys. I've got games up here. Stop. Stop Thief. An electric game of bank robbers. Cops and robbers. I have tiddlywinks. I mean, I just have a ton of vintage toys. A Felix clock. Do you guys remember Felix? It's Felix, right? I think so. This guy? 
Kit Kat. Kit Kat. He's got his tail. However, the person cut the cord. So he doesn't have a cord to plug in, but he's still cute to display. So I've got an original Kit Kat. I remember having one of these growing up on the wall. And his eyes would go back and forth in his tail. So I have a lot of fun stuff. Fun toys, books. Just some very unique items. Because usually that's what I buy is unique. So. Oh, the cat clock. You know, I think I only paid a dollar for that. At a, because he doesn't work. But he's so cute. And I'm not even a cat person. I'm more of a dog person. But I remember him having him growing up. And I'm just looking over there. I have to show you before you go. You don't have to set the time. Oh, you can replace the cord. I'm going to see if my husband can do that. Check this out. I've got so much cool stuff I want to show you. But I'm just out of room on this table. I bought this whole thing of vintage child, uh, fabric. Look at this. Can you see that? I think it's like eight feet of it or something like that. Of this brand new, well it's not brand new, it's vintage fabric. So if anybody sews I have that, and I also have a quilt, I guess it's like a quilt topper maybe, I'm not sure. I got this at an estate sale. It's pretty big. Let me move that chair. Is it upside down? I can't even tell. It's like, I think, a topper for a bed, but it's super big. Can you see that? Look at it. Look at Just look at it. <laughs> I don't know what size it is. Probably at least a queen, I would guess. It's ginormous. It's a huge topper. I have owls. I have knickknacks. I have tins. I have Miss Piggy up here. She's a, a puppet. Remember her? So whatever you like, I pretty much have on these shelves. Um, I wouldn't be too keen to ship this, but I think this is the only like swung base I have right now. I've got just lots of fun stuff. Lots of fun items. Lots of chenille. Chicky chicks. I've got a little Christmas marching band. Lots of jewelry. So I need to start um, having sales and selling some of this so I can make room for more stuff because I'm pretty much at capacity. So again, if you saw something today, I know I don't, I worry about stuff just not making it. I pack really good, um, but the boxes are sometimes a little bit bigger because I wanna be sure that it gets to you in one piece. So yeah. All right, well, I'm gonna cut this video off. I won't keep you any longer. But be sure to watch the video back. And if you saw something you like, just send me a message. I do work during the week. So it may take me a little bit longer to get back with you and pack, like, sh package stuff up. Because I, I think I'm, I'm working Monday through Friday next week. So I'll be off again on Saturday. My husband does ship out for me. So I have to kind of pack in between my job. So if you, sh if you send me an email, I will um, dust. I will get it packed up just as soon as I can and get you an invoice and all that good stuff, okay? Well, thank you for joining me. I don't even know what time it is. I'm in the basement here, but it was fun chatting with you all.
and showing you all the goodies I got today. Super excited about some of it. And I have a ton of fun vintage Christmas stuff. So if you like Christmas, be sure to join or tune in. I'll, I'll for sure advertise and I usually do on Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, be sure you follow me. That's where I post my sales most of the time. And um, isn't he so cute? I was with Michelle when I got him. I just think he's so cute. I love him. So yeah. All right. I guess I think I'm going to go upstairs, have some um, something to drink, put my feet up, and then worry about this later this week. Because I do not feel like putting all this stuff away. If you could see my table, I'm just going to show you so you can see what a mess it is. Ready? You're going with me, okay? Ready? <laughs> this is all stuff that I got today. It is a mess. I have to get it all over here. I have to organize all these shelves and fit it over here. And I don't know how I'm going to do that. <laughs> so definitely if you saw something you like, be sure to reach out to me. Lots of fun items here. Um, so thank you for joining me and I will catch you um, maybe next Saturday. Okay. Thank you for the time, Patty. I appreciate it. So Thank you, everyone, and you have yourself a great day. Yes, I can leave this down here for sure and go back upstairs. Let me show you over here. If anyone's looking for, I got this vintage baby crib. Can you see that? But look at the stroller. It has a handle, too, that, that goes up. But this crib, I put all the babies in it and my my collectible charlie bears they're getting stuff from the stairs on them but yeah so thank you so much <laughs> bye bye we'll see you soon take care